Hey guys, uh, I've got to start this dev diary with an apology. Based on everything I'd seen about Planet Coaster, everything I'd heard, talking to the people there, I thought that this was going to be a really good game and I was completely wrong. This is going to be a freaking amazing game. If you're a coaster fan, like if you're a real coaster fan, the next five minutes are going to blow your freaking mind. Just take a look at this. So modular building is a, a very clunky word. Hang on. Did he just say modular building? Oh my God, a modular coaster? No. No, it's okay. He's not talking about the coaster builder. Keep watching. What well, ultimately is a very, very free tool within uh, Planet Coaster, uh, allowing you to create vast ways of the world exactly in the way that you would want them to be made and to integrate all the pieces of a part in a way that you would never have done before. You know, your guests will notice that and they'll appreciate that. So your part will be noticeably different and more successful than one that's just barren and it's just rides and it's just shop shelves. Traditionally, we kind of talk about creators playing this game or, you know, are you a creator? Are you a manager? Are you, there's other things. In, in this, it teases all of those people to actually enjoy using the building tools. You might build your roller coaster first, you might build your scenery first, you end up with these two separate items. And you look at them and your brain just makes this connection and goes, what if I made them part of the same thing? Whoa, Nelly, did they just give us a sneaky look at the coaster building tools? Actually, they just show us the whole thing in a minute. I was just teasing you. And then you might move that building, you might copy it, you might take part of it, rip it apart and put it over different parts of that ride, rebuild it in a different way. And every time you look at your ride and reconsider it, you might change something. And you get to continually improve on what you've built in a very sort of piece by piece way. That is the, the big challenge. Any any Planet Coaster-like game, those games that deal with lots of systems all want to build on top of each other and they're all user-generated content. The Technically, they're a very difficult challenge. So we have to try and keep things separate to, to make the actual development process sane, but we need the user to kind of appear to be seamlessly integrated. Okay, so that's what they were talking about when they were talking about the modular building, uh, putting this kind of stuff together. So, okay, I mean, it's not quite Sims 4, but um, let's face it, you can still produce some pretty beautiful things. Now, guys, I would advise you to grab a box of tissues, because this stuff that's coming up next is going to pop your cork. So, I think the landscape editing tools are, are fantastic in, in their breadth, in the sense that, um, like, Every user can use it on a basic level to kind of create some nice uh, undulations and hilly areas in their parks or to um, just to create a little rocky outcrop or a little formation which to guests can walk under or coasters can go through. It's actually very, very easy to do that with our tools. The landscape is a voxel generated field of loveliness. Wait a minute, did he just say voxel? Oh yes, he did. Just look at this. He gets technical for you. Um, uh, and each voxel, the voxel scale is a meter, which in our game is actually that's, that's really quite well detailed. Because then when you combine it with the uh, customization that you can add on with uh, the scenery pieces, um, and the fact that you can kind of build out these really interesting lumps of rock, you know, combinatorially, you can kind of add stuff together to build up big rock forms. Oh no, they didn't. Oh yes, they did. Let's take a look at this in slow mo. I, I seriously, I can't believe that they're going to put this like in like. I, you know, why wasn't this in in city skylines? I want this kind of terrain building in a in a city builder. Holy, look at this caves! I mean, oh my god, this is beautiful. Push that into the landscape. You can sculpt to the scenery. You know, you can effectively adorn it. The the, the landscape system, everything is building on top of it but we do some really interesting things with landscape systems. So for example, when you put a path on a the landscape, then it will conform to the landscape if, if it thinks that it's reasonable to put a path. So it may not let you put a path up a, a cliff edge, for example. But when we have that path down, we can then actually use the landscape system to put that path in a tunnel. So if we, as, we, as we pull the landscape over, the path will stay where it is and the volume of the path, i.e. the bit that you'd expect the people to walk through, will remain as a hollow, as a tunnel, but the landscape will sort of seamlessly blend over the top of it, so you can create a really amazing kind of structures, 
but with, with simple techniques as far as the user's concerned. See, I told you you were going to need those tissues. So one of the beautiful things you can do with a, with a modular building system is the way that you can overlap local grids. So if I build my shop and, and next, next to it is some curious, broken, creepy old church, then I can have that thing sitting there on a local grid. Then I can intersect another grid and start building off an angle. So if I wanted to make it look like half it had fallen down or actually I've got a wall which is connecting around my spooky graveyard or whatever, I can do exactly that because I can intersect the local grids, which makes grid building simple, but actually makes the complexity quite quite deep. You know, you can you can build some really beautiful staged spaces which are conforming to a local grid, but actually look quite freeform. I want it, I want it now, damn it! So you can you can really kind of uh, create an artificial area as much as you can create an authentic area. Um, and that's really nice having that sort of ability to, to kind of chop up your park into different uh, biomes within biomes and, and different zones. So you really feel like you're, you're taking your guests into different dimensions and different areas you can reuse scenery. So if you have two rides and you put a piece of scenery between the two of them, both those rides consider that scenery. So from a game perspective, you saved money by building one scenery item that two rides have used. And if you built a roller coaster, you might go past that scenery on the same roller coaster multiple times. So you, there's a little more use out of it. And you have these high value items. So anything which is animated or, you know, um, you've made it out of these bigger, more expensive blocks that have a bigger impact on the guests. Um, and you manage to reuse those a lot, then you've saved even more money. You've, you've been creative in how you've approached the simulation. And that's, that's something we want to reward. Well, I don't know what you guys think, but I am shocked and appalled. Appalled at the levels of cruelty that they've displayed by showing us these awesome, juicy goodies. Uh, like, at least, what's it going to be like? Uh, at least four months before we can play it. Oh, come on, give it to us now. I don't care if it's in, like you haven't even got it into alpha. I want to play it now, today, right now. Oh, man. Now, um, before we go, in, in case you didn't see it, these are the, the, the coaster building controls. Now, I just have a little look at this. It's only a very short clip, uh, but man, that, looks good i am so encouraged by just seeing that one tiny little clip those controls look really nice i mean compared to certain other things that we've seen recently mentioning no names um guys i i, like, I am knocked out by this trailer i cannot wait to see more this is only the second dev diary what are they going to show us for the next three months oh my god Okay, uh, I'm going to leave it there. I've got um, I've got tissues to deal with. Uh, I will catch you for the next one. I hope you enjoyed this. R hit the like button. Leave me a comment, please. Make sure you subscribe because there's going to be a lot more of this coming. I'll catch you for the next one. Peace out.